Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Zombies video. And the title does not lie. This is not clickbait. This is a Zombies map created by a Treyarch developer. Now, the developer in question is someone called Cornrow Wallace, who's such a lovely guy who's worked on Zombies from around Black Ops 2 onwards. And he's made some incredible maps, some of the fan favorites like Mob of the Dead, Darius and Drac, just to name a few. And in his spare time, whilst making actual Treyarch Zombies, he's a dabbled in the mod tools and he's made a brand new map, which is called outpost blue and we're gonna be checking out today it's like a really nice sort of follow through while we wait for you know real treyarch zombies to come back later this year but to play an actual zombies map created by a track developer is absolutely amazing all i know is there's some sort of easter egg involving skulls so i picked up a part and oh look at that hud that's looking pretty nice so we can get a free perk and it's also shield but this is essentially like an old school zombies map like the world at war days where it's very simple, very claustrophobic, and I'm really excited to get into this. So if you want to see more custom zombies from me, I know we played Leviathan recently, and you guys absolutely love that. If you want to see more custom zombies from me, just like the old days, because you guys might be subscribed for like a year, two years, five years. I used to do a lot of custom zombies here on the channel. I want to bring that back in force. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more, please let me know in the comments below. If you don't want to write a comment, just feel free to drop a thumbs up. If you've written a comment and you want to leave a like, that would be absolutely amazing of you. I hope you guys are having a very safe and a happy start to your week or whenever you decide to watch this video oh a nuke let's go let's go all right let's open up see what we're working with oh my gosh this looks so good like seriously this is like really cool ambience and, and an atmosphere there's clearly a lot going in this gives me very like acidic corrosive vibes which i think this room is pretty much trying to give us let's open up this map and see what we're Oh my god, we've got like a library going on. It's giving me some real like Dead of the Night vibes. Okay, we've got a Pack-A-Punch machine going on in there. And oh, oh, that's pretty cool. For statues of the premise characters, always a good touch. I can hear it. Yeah, I was like, I can hear a clock. Like, is that is that something? I, I don't know. Going and grab the Vespa, see what's going on. Oh my god, man. What the heck? We've got like spores from Zetsubo. I, I, it seems like a massive blend of everything. Okay, so we've got ambient radios in this thing. This is amazing, dude. Considering that most of the Triarch developers are working from home now, working on what we believe is going to be COD 2020. Everything points to it being made by Triarch. I'm, I'm shocked that, you know, we're still getting quality releases like this. And there's a teddy bear. Can we shoot it? Or is that just for show? Probably for show. And also, if you're looking at me thinking, John, you look about five years younger. What the heck happened? Yeah, some facial hair kind of just, it kind of fell off my face. <laughs> but oh my God, look at this. Whoa, SOS help needed. That looks sick. Like, I really think people underestimate and don't appreciate custom zombies enough. Like after like what happened with Leviathan and that's such an incredible remaster. Easily one of my favorite custom zombies maps ever made now. Like honestly, I look at it and I think of it as a real map because there's just so much depth to it. There's so much you can do with that map as well. It's just insanely impressive experience you can get the same with custom zombies maps like i used to play so many back in the day whether they were like leviathan quality maps or they were like terrible meme maps <laughs> like i'm just really excited to dive back into it oh my god all the drops today boys didn't even grab revive hello so the coolest thing about this map that i know is there's a thing called sci-fi mode i don't quite know what it does but i know there are references around the map to like plenty of like science fiction movies oh symbol monkey straight away you know that's pretty good oh we got a second skull right there I have all oh, Mark 3s, hello! Honestly, I've not looked up anything about this map. I don't really know anything. But I know that will give us a free perk, so I'm very excited about that. Oh, we've got another part, hello. Okay, nice. We've got a part for uh, shield, which is sick. Okay, probably a dog round. Probably the best place we want to be for it. If you guys remember, I streamed a custom map about two or three years ago, which involved a UFO that crashed. That was a map called Meadow, and that was also made by the same guy, James or Cornrow Wallace, that made this map. Okay, we've got the lovely 2,000 points, so let's open up and see what we've got going on inside here. Okay, so we've got all the shield parts built, so that's pretty cool. There are tons of teddy bears around. Proper old school vibes, you know. Oh, there's the power switch. Lovely stuff. Does it make the map any brighter, though? Doesn't look like it does. Oh, hello. Coming out of the phone? Yeah, I was like, there's got to be more to this map than just that singular door that we just opened. I feel like this this map could easily be like a World at War map that's been remastered for Black Ops 3. It's because there's like proper like, you know, tense corridors where you're just going to be sitting in a corner just mowing down zombies. Crack on and crafting a good old zombie shield. We got the lovely Mob of the Dead poster. Oh, I've only just noticed the last skull. 
pick it up. Okay, we picked up parts. And now, do we have everything? Or can we just go back to a bench? I think we've got to go to a buildable bench. Okay, so we've got another new room in here. This looks super creepy. But I love how like, you've got the little lights everywhere. It's just lighting up things you don't know if you should be paying attention to oh another door for 1250 all right where's it taking us okay we just done a loop-de-loop -loop. okay so to activate this uh little easter egg i think we just got up to this hello oh there we go the heck we've got a spotlight on it uh okay hello so if we come over here to this statue it says in my web i'll intertwine these three past lovers of mine that had a taste of this widow's wine so we get widow's wine but I, like hello how do i get it oh so i'm an absolute idiot there's more than one statue i'm an idiot of course each statue needs its own there we go there's the second and there's the third okay and there we go that's such a cool little easter egg that's so cool there we go widow's wine boom lovely and it never goes away so if we go down we can just keep getting widow's wine that is amazing yo my man put in one of the pods for the apothecary servant upgrade in a custom zombies map a treyarch dev done this that is nuts <laughs> full-on trolling the community hey guys this is what it looked like but hey you certainly can't get it we just put some cool weapons in the box i'm telling you now some a real revelations amount right here and like i said there was like a, a sci-fi mode that he's put in so to get that you just have to go up to this guy here to toggle sci-fi mode whoa hello this is basically like noir mode from shadows of evil but it looks even cooler it looks like i'm playing like a 1960s movie in zombies this is so cool man what a treat this is so cool i'm really enjoying this thus far there's nothing overly crazy about the map but as you can clearly see it's just a nice bit of fun it just makes the entire map look so different like areas that were full of color it's just completely gone but i'd love to ask you guys in the comment section right now when was the last time you fully played a zombies map and just like instead of the the normal like i'm gonna sit in a corner or i'm gonna do this strat to get round 100 or whatever you just you know you just play a map with with friends and you just go for a high round you just have fun this map feels like the exact sort of map you'd be able to do that it's not too complicated it's it's fairly simple but it's got enough to it that it has that sort of Darice feel in my opinion look at that you've also got little pods that would spawn on top and certain parts for the apothecary servant upgrade as well he's fully just trolled every single one of the black ops 3 players right here and also looks very symbolic of like the electric chairs from mob sick happy right now that it feels like custom zombies is having a big resurgence both like on youtube and for people that used to play custom zombies a lot maybe haven't dabbled into it in a while it feels like the time's never been better so like i said at the start of the video if you guys really want to see more customs from your boy please please let me know oh my god the banshee the best banshee i have some really really good ideas for for custom uh map videos as well as actual maps themselves. And obviously what you guys think is super, super important. So uh, let me hear your voice in the comment section, all right? I'm going to disable the sci-fi mode. It's, it's sick, but I just want to see the map in all its colorful glory just for a moment. Oh, the box is up here now. This is a bit of a die rise map area here. Oh, Thunder Gun, hello. All right, lads, we are never dying, clearly. Mark II and Thunder Gun. What have we done to deserve this? Oh, it was nearly the Arnie's as well. And I really hope you've not been watching this video just looking at my face going, John, you look so weird without any facial hair. And I'm like, I know. I kind of regret what I did. I give it two days. I'm going to look completely fine. But for now, please just allow it. All right, allow it. Man, this setup is too OP right now. But absolutely everything. I don't even know if there's a perk limit. It probably is. Like imagine like in the later rounds, just running through all the shelves in this library would probably be pretty fun. If you've got any other custom map suggestions that you'd love to see me play that I haven't done on the channel before, do let me know in the comments because that would be amazing. Do you hear that man? He just mentioned something about an alien abduction. Go to the infirmary. I think I'm okay, thank you. I've seen some people get to like round 50 plus on this, which is insane. So <laughs> we could very well attempt this, but we'll be here all day and all night otherwise. That's going to about round it up for this custom zombies map, which is called Outpost Blue by James Cornrow Wallace, a zombies dev at Treyarch. Massive shout out to James if he's watching this video. I hope you're good. Thank you so much for all, all the time you've spent on working on this map. I'm sure you've got a hectic as hell schedule, but it is awesome to see what a Treyarch developer can make 
when you consider the tools that they use to make the current games are far more updated and, uh, you know, what, what people use to make custom zombies maps on Black Ops 3 is so much older than the programs that they use to actually make the games nowadays. So considering the limitations that mod tools have in comparison to Treyarch's actual tools, there are some incredible maps that can be made. Leviathan is an incredible example of that. And it's just so fascinating to me to see what a Treyarch dev can do with their own tools, you know what I mean? But for more zombies, be sure to stick it here on the channel by subscribing, turning on that bell, clicking that like button. If you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, that would be absolutely amazing. I've got some more fantastic zombies content and Call of Duty stuff coming in general over the course of this week. So be sure to stick around and I'll catch you in the next one.